Hello and welcome to another Android tutorial. This is tutorial number 22. We're going to continue with our work on JSON handling of remote data. Uh, this time we're going to display that data in a list. So let's go ahead and fire up our tutorial number 22. As you can see, it's structured data. Each line contains a name, a date, and a color. Now let's go ahead and look at our code. It's tutorial22.java and you can see we've got our bunch of includes. We've seen this before. Um, here's some comments that I've added. And the first thing you're going to notice that's different is we've got an array list. But our array list is a list of objects of type person, not strings. Here we define our internal class person. Person has four attributes, all strings, ID, name, birthday, and favorite color. Okay, let's go down a little further. We've got our fancy adapter. We've used this guy before. He's basically an extension on our array adapter. And you can see down here, we've redefined our fancy adapter as an array adapter that takes uh, argument of type person, not string. This is because we're not making a list of strings, we're making a list of persons, people. Um, and this is important. Finally, we've got our another array list strings. This is just a uh, holder, basically, while we're doing our JSON uh, munging to get all of our objects into the proper uh, places. So let's look at the body of our onCreate. This is all very similar. All of our similar stuff before, we take our input, buffer it, get an input stream, append it to our string builder, close our input stream, convert the string builder to a string. There we go. Now here's where things get a little different. We iterate over our JSON array. We make our JSON objects. We then make a new object of type person. And we give that type person's properties, the data from our JSON object. And then the most important part of this, as we're iterating over the length of our JSON array, is we add that person, which is our result row, to the array of web data, which is our array list of type person, uh, right up here. And that's critical because later on, uh, we get out of our try block to munge our JSON data, we go back to what we've seen before when we work with um, list views and array adapters. We get our list view by ID. We create our new fancy adapter, which is an extension of array adapter. And then we set our array adapter. Boom, we're done. Now we've got a couple of classes down here we need to look at. Here's our fancy adapter. It's an extension of array adapter, but with a person um, and not with a string. Uh, you can see everything else is the same till you get down to here. Um, and you're passing it array of web data, which is our array list of type person. Um, we have our uh, populate from that we're passing it to. Now you need to make sure you've changed your populate to to take an argument of type person, not an argument of type string. And then inside the populate from, we set our name, birthday, and favorite color text views to the contents of type R. R has attributes name, birthday, and favorite color, and we set those three, and that's what actually sets the um, text views that are part of that row. Our, see our linear layout for each row in that list view has three text views. And this is where we're actually setting it. In the view holder, this is that technique we've used over and over again, um, we're just getting, for each row, we're getting our text view, text view, and text view, name, birthday, and favorite color, and here's where we're setting it. So it's not that much different. You're just seeing you're combining the um, array adapter and view holder technique we've used many times before, but now we're using it to apply to an array list of type persons, which is how we handle our JSON response that we're getting from our database. And you can see here's our Android tutorial number 22 database, or a PHP file that returns the results from our database. We just select start from query, throw it into a JSON uh, encode we, once we populate our array, and you're done. We've got, you can see in our project, we've got a tutorial22.java, main XML, row, and uh, that's it. Row is our linear layout for our list view. 
each uh, row in our list view contains these three elements. And then our main.xml just has the list view in question. Pretty basic. It's just a com combining what we did with number 21 with uh, an earlier technique we were using the view holder and array adapter. The only difference is our array adapter is working on an array list of people, not an array list of strings. Um, and this is because it's structured data. It's got more than one attribute. So we had to create uh, an encapsulated class inside um, our, uh, cla our tutorial 22.java class. That is a class of type persons. And then we just use this all throughout. So uh, that's it for now. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email.